Hey guys, we're here with our NPL Season 4 Week 1 battle, and this week we take on the Houston Soul Rockets and their coach Adam the Bees Knees. Make sure you guys go check out Adam after this video. He's an awesome dude, terrific battler, uploads tons of league format, uh, so make sure you guys go check him out. Real quick, we will go over the team that Adam decided to bring to this match. He brought Necrozma, uh, that's a Zygarde is that thing's name, Zygarde, Mega Houndoom, Cobalion, Torkoal, and Milotic. Uh, I kind I for the most part guess his team, he brought uh, Milotic instead of Tapu Bulu, but that's okay with me. Uh, if you guys do not know what I'm bringing to this match, make sure you guys go check out the team builder video that went up yesterday, and we will just go ahead and get started. So looking at this matchup, um, I want to go ahead and lead off with Donphan. It's the safest lead because it can do something against everything except by low tick, and I don't think he's going to lead that. So um, that's the safest lead that we have. So we're going to go ahead and click play here. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Donphan. As he's going to go ahead and lead off with his Torkoal. Now I imagine here we're just going to trade rocks. But that's okay because uh, we could spin them away a little bit later. Um, so I go ahead and click rocks as he actually clicks Lava Plume in the sun and gets the burn. Uh, which is a little unfortunate because that's going to prevent our Don fan from doing a little bit more damage. But that's okay. We got our rocks up. Unfortunately, he's going to get an opportunity to spin them away. So I'm going to go ahead and try to capitalize on that. And I'm going to go into my Dragology so I can drop a Draco Meteor because he has nothing uh, that is immune to it because he didn't bring his type of Bulu. And uh, if he wants to go into Cobalion, I have a good switch into that in Zapdos. So I'm going to go ahead and click Draco Meteor as he brings in his Milotic. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that Draco. And I unfortunately miss, uh, which is okay. But uh, it's a little fortunate, but there's nothing that can be done about it. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out. I don't want to take an Ice Beam, so I'm going to go ahead and go into my Mew, which can uh, handle this Milotic relatively easily. He goes ahead and clicks Skull that does 12% uh, because of the Sun. So it's good to know that typically it's going to be doing about 24% to me. And I'm going to go ahead and taunt this uh, Milotic and prevent it from recovering or setting up or clicking Toxic, anything of the sort, as he clicks Dragon Tail. And uh, he's going to force me out, and it forces me out into my Sneasel this time. So um, I'm in a position where I can click knockoff here, get rid of its leftovers, and then I can stall this thing out with Mew later in the game. And the only thing, and I know that Scald or uh, Dragon Tail won't do nearly enough to me. Um, he clicks Scald, unfortunately gets the burn, which is actually going to be pretty devastating uh, because now we're going to be doing a lot less to his threats, but uh, nothing can be done about it. I'm going to go ahead and switch out into my, uh, my Zapdos, and he's going to go ahead and make a switch himself. This time he goes out uh, into his Mega Houndoom. Now, um, he will have one more turn of Sun here, so what I want to do is I'm actually just going to go ahead and click Roost right here, knowing he'll easily outspeed me after Mega Evolving, <clears throat> and click uh, some type of move. He clicks Dark Pulse, um, and I Roost that off, and now the Sun it has left the field, so he will not be uh, getting Solar Power any longer and will be doing a lot less damage. And at this point, I'm pretty free to click um, Thunderbolt here. So that's exactly what I do. I click Thunderbolt here, and that does a really good chunk, over 50% to the Mega Houndoom, and uh, I can just roost off that damage, no problem. So we're, uh, it's looking good for us right now. Uh, Tweety's putting in some the finest of work, and uh, he's going to go ahead and switch out into his Torkoal, reset up the sun, and possibly get his rocks up. Um, I have not necessarily revealed the, uh, Defog. Defog on Zapdos, but I do not have it. I have Spin on Donphan instead. I'm going to click uh, Thunderbolt just to gauge the damage and possibly get an idea about his set. It does about 34%, which means he's probably, uh, probably, he's probably uh, Spideff, if not mostly Spideff. Um, so that's good to know. He's going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead and switch on to my Dragology, knowing that I can take a Lava Plume, no problem, and I don't mind being burned. He's going to go ahead and Yawn, which is actually going to go ahead and force me out, and I'm going to go into my Dawn Fan, knowing that he has revealed all of his moves, and there is nothing he can do to my Dawn Fan, because he cannot burn me anymore, he cannot put me to sleep, obviously his rocks are already up, and he cannot spin anything away, so he goes out into his Cobalion here, and uh, I'm just in a position where I can either set up my rocks, or I can click EQ. It's up to him. So he's going to go ahead and pull a double into his Milotic. And I believe I just, uh, I, no, I actually, I rapid spin away his uh, hazards that he set up. Which is a really good play on his part. Milotic's in a position where he can come in right now and click recover. So I can leave it um, with my Dawn fan and I can go into my uh, my Mew. Knowing that I will take virtually nothing from anything that this 
my Lotic wants to throw at me, but he actually clicks rest, which is really smart on his part, gives him the defense boost uh, while he's status, so it's probably rest, sleep talk, skull, dragon tail, pretty good set, I could dig it. Um, he does not want to be taunted, otherwise he cannot do anything this turn, so he's going to go ahead and go into his Mega Houndoom as I click taunt. Uh, not a great thing, but not necessarily the worst thing either. At least we prevent him from setting up a nasty plot or clicking taunt of his own if he has it. Um, and I don't want to stay in and take a Dark Pulse because uh, in the sun I cannot take one. So I'm going to go into my Dragology, which is meant to take on this thing. As he actually clicks uh, Flamethrower, which will do even less than a Dark Pulse would have. Which is good for us. So uh, I'm in a position again where I could, I'm pretty free to just click Draco Meteor and do some damage to whatever wants to come in. He decides it's going to be his Milotic. So we drop a Draco Meteor and we're going to do about 40% to the Milotic, which reveals to me that he's a little bit mixed defensive. He's definitely max HP, uh, but I don't know exactly where his defense investment lies. I'm pretty sure it's mixed of some sort. Um, but knowing that he's asleep, I'm going to go ahead and go into my Zapdos, knowing the worst thing he could do to me is click Scald and Burn. Um, so he clicks Sleep Talk and actually gets Rest, which is unfortunate for him, but uh, there's nothing that can be done about that. I'm going to go ahead and click Thunderbolt here, I believe, and just get some damage off on uh, whatever wants to come in. He decides it's going to be his Torkoal. So the Torkoal is going to take another decent chunk, and uh, he's going to live at 34%. So at this point, I know it's a roll. I'm willing to risk clicking Thunderbolt again. As he goes into his Zygarde, makes a good double. Um, so obviously, Zygarde being a ground type would be completely immune to the Thunderbolt. <laughs> but obviously... Uh, I'll be okay because I have HP Ice. He clicks Dragon Dance here, which um, will be, it's a little bit concerning, but um, HP Ice is doing enough to uh, kill him this next turn. However, he's going to go ahead and click activate his Z power, and he's going to click Devastating Drake, which I believe to be Z Outrage. And uh, yeah, that's just going to straight up one shot my Zapdos. So uh, not looking too good for us. We lost our Milotic Breaker, but that's okay. We have Mew still. We could beat that Milotic one-on-one. -on -one. It's just going to take a while. I'm going to go ahead and go into my Donphan and get some extra chip on this um, Zygarde as he clicks Thousand Arrows. Now, obviously, I'm in a range where an E-Speed kills me and I cannot retaliate with an Ice Shard because E-Speed is faster. But uh, at least I am burning turns of um, Sun and I will be able to come in with my Mega Lop on here, Mega Evolve, and click Fake Out and be able to kill this Zygarde. So I threaten it out. He has killed two of my Mons, but there's nothing that can be done any longer. Uh, we're going to make it. <laughs> we're going to make it. So I'm going to bring in my Mega Lop on I'm going to come in here, I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to click Fake Out as he goes into his Necrozma, which I suspected would be his answer to Mega Uh Fake Out's going to do about 16%, and he reveals to have the Rocky Helmet as his item. Now, uh, I took a little, I took a very long time deciding what I wanted to do on this turn here, and I decided I need to make an aggressive play, and I need to go into the Sneasel predicting the Psychic-type move, which is exactly what happens, so I can click Knock Off and get rid of something's item. Uh, that's going to be more important than anything right now, because no matter what wants to come in besides the Milotic, uh, something's getting its item knocked off, and if he goes into my Lodic, he's asleep, and I can uh, react accordingly. So, Sneasel's in here, I'm gonna click knockoff. Does barely any damage to that Milotic because it has no item, and it has a status. Obviously, it's Marvel scale, making it uh, super duper bulky. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out into my Mew, I believe. Uh, knowing I can click Taunt. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Knowing I can click Taunt and be able to uh, beat this Milotic eventually, he clicks Sleep Talk and unfortunately gets Rest again. So I'm in a position here where I can click Taunt uh, here and prevent the Milotic from doing anything again. Um, so he's going to go ahead and make a switch out back into his Torkoal. Now I wanted, I thought he might go out into his Houndoom, so I actually clicked Aura Sphere here, being trying to uh, take out the Houndoom right then and there. Um, but that's okay, two Aura Spheres is going to be able to take out the Torkoal, so we get our first kill of the season, and he's going to get that honor. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Um, so Torkoal's going to drop and he goes into his Mega Houndoom. Now, like we said, I cannot take Dark Pulses in the sun. So I'm going to go ahead and make a switch out into my Sneasel and go ahead and sack that off. Uh, because Sneasel won't do much for the rest of the game besides knock off uh, Necrozma's item. So um, that's going to be fine. We don't need Sneasel anymore. I think if I can position myself correctly, I can win this game with a combination of Lobany and Mew. Um, so Lopini is going to come in, and I'm going to go ahead and just click Return straight up, predicting him to go out into his uh, Necrozma. I want to see how much damage it does. Um, so Return is going to do about 38%. Now, right here, I, I spent a lot of time predict making this play as well. I decide I'm just going to click Return here again. It basically forced him to uh, recover. I wanted to see if he had the move, and he does. And in addition, I'm burning turns of Sun. 
um, because he has lost his Torkoal, he will ha no longer have a Sunsetter. So I'm pretty free to go into my Mew here, predicting him to recover again. Just burning more turns of Sun. I can click Taunt here and prevent the Necrozma from doing virtually anything to me this turn. He clicks Toxic, reveals his fourth move to be Toxic, uh, which makes sense. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start clicking Ice Beam. It's my strongest move against him. I get a crit, um, and he, then he gets a crit with his Earthquake. So his moveset is Psychic, Earthquake, Morning Sun, and Toxic, which makes sense because I do have a Lolan Muck uh, that did not come to this match. So uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and click Ice Beam again here. I'm in a position where I, I literally have no reason not to. Um, if he goes down to my low tick, I can taunt it <coughs> and prevent it from doing anything useful. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, now, I was in a position here where I could have predicted the Mega Houndoom to come in and I can click uh, Aura Sphere. But I uh, knew that the Milotic was going to wake up this turn and I wanted to prevent it from clicking uh, Rest again. So I felt that Taunt was more valuable, but he actually makes a good double and goes out into the Mega Houndoom. Um, so I'm in a position here where I can go into my Dragology. It's AB. It's meant to take on this Mega Houndoom. It's going to take uh, one Dark Pulse and be able to easily take another, which is awesome news for us. Now I'm in a position where uh, I can click Draco and it's going to do a lot of damage to something. But uh, I want to be able to not have my drop just in case he wants to go into Necrozma. Um, so he actually goes into his Milotic. I click Sludge Wave. It's not able to kill the Milotic, and Milotic's able to rest up again, which is fine. I'm in a position here where I can just start spamming um, Sludge Wave. And eventually, he's going to have to make uh, some kind of play, because eventually, Dragology will win one-on-one -on -one with this Milotic. Um, so, he gets Sleep Talk, he clicks Dragon Tail, which uh, will force me out. Luckily, I have 13%, so I will be able to use it as a clean sack later. And he goes into my Mega Lothany, which uh, was less than ideal. I would have preferred the Mew, but that's okay. We can make a Mega Lothany work as well. I'm going to go ahead and click Return, knowing that I can 2-hit KO the Milotic, and I can 2-hit or I'm sorry, not the Milotic, I can 2-hit KO the uh, Necrozma coming in. Um, so Necrozma is going to drop to two returns. I'm going to take a lot of damage from the Rocky Helmet, unfortunately, enough to put me in E-speed range of the uh, Zygarde, so I'm going to have to play smart around that. Now, he goes into his Cobalion here, and immediately the second he threw out this Cobalion this turn, I knew his Cobalion was Scarfed. He had Zygarde, and I was easily in uh, E-speed range. But he decided to bring in his Cobalion, that that scream scarf to me. So he's going to go ahead and click Iron Head. Uh, it's a safe play. It hits everything on my team. He's going to go ahead and click Iron Head again. I'm going to go ahead and roost up back and get some more health back on my Mew. <coughs> and uh, once I get uh, to a comfortable amount of health, I can start clicking Aura Sphere. I'm in a position where I can easily click Aura Sphere no matter what comes in because it will be my strongest move because Zygarde is at such a low amount of health. So Aura Sphere is going to be enough to easily 2 KO this Cobalion. So he's in a position where he could either try to go for Iron Head Flinches or he could switch out and uh, keep his Cobalion or just sack his Cobalion straight up. He decides to go out into his Milotic as I click Aura Sphere. I'm sorry, I click Roost um, <coughs> to get up to a uh, good chunk of health. I'm going to go ahead and click Aura Sphere here and just start slowly whittling down this uh, Milotic. I'm willing to risk that um, he sleep talks into rest or into skull um and not into dragon tail and if he did go into dragon tail i would hope he sends me out to my lopany and i can react accordingly but um nonetheless this turn i'm going to go ahead and get a taunt off because i know he's going to wake up from his rest and i'm going to prevent him from doing that he's going to go ahead and click dragon tail and it's going to force me out i believe into my lopany which is okay he no longer has a status and he cannot set a status up so I'm in a position where I can click HJK. I do get a crit. That crit does not matter. That was going to kill uh, my Lotic no matter what. Um, so my Lotic is going to go down to a high jump kick. And he's going to bring in his Cobalion, which again is... It's Scarf. There's no way it's not. Um, so he's going to go out into his Dragology. And I'm going to go... Or I'm going to go into my Dragology. That's me. Haha. -ha. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sack off this Dragology to an Iron Head here. And I need... What I need to happen, I need to go into Mew. And I need him to... I need to rest up get to a decent chunk of health and start clicking Aura Sphere. So basically, I just need him to not flinch here. Uh, he goes for Iron Head, does 33%, which will kill me after one more, and he unfortunately does get the flinch. So, um, Mew is going to drop to another Iron Head because of that burn. Uh, it nullifies my leftovers. So the Iron Head is going to be able to kill the Mew, and obviously this thing is Scarfed, so it will be able to kill my uh, Megalophony, which is unfortunate. So we are going to take a, uh, or actually, I'll let him. I'll, I'll, I'll let this play out first of all. 
Uh, I'm going to click fake out just in case I get a super crit and it's enough to kill the uh, Cobalion. I, I had no other play. It was my only chance. Um, so he's going to click Iron Head and Cobalion is going to win the game for Adam. So that is going to be a 3-0 loss in week one of NPL season four. Uh, very unfortunate, a little haxy. Uh, it's pretty haxy, but there's nothing that can be done about it. It's part of the game. Um, at the end of the day, I think I think I think Adam's a tremendous battler. I actually I don't think I know Adam's a tremendous battler. Um, the hacks definitely played a role in the match, but there's nothing that can be done about it, so there's no reason to be upset about it. Uh, we do play Adam again in week 12 this season, so um, I'm definitely looking forward to that match, and hopefully things will go differently for us. But anyways, uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, a like and a subscription would be much appreciated. Again, make sure you guys go check out Adam. Follow me on Twitter. Follow the NPL on Twitter to know everything and anything uh, that's going on in the league. Um, next week, we t take on a rematch from last season, a divisional rematch from last season. We take on Mr. NC Squared and the Litchfield Park Larvitars for week two. So I will see you guys for the team builder for that video, and I'll see you guys then. Later.